Right then, so this is a... I'm going to be talking about the interrupts for an operating system. So, there's the interrupts handling, which is for... which is based for the hardware, so a buffer transmission data from primary memory to secondary storage has been emptied and needs to be filled, so it sends an interrupt to the CPU saying, Hey, hey, over here, I need to be refilled, and then it gets its process done. The process is that the interrupt stored with all other jobs that the processor has to do. The interrupt is given priority as the as current job according to importance. Uh, not really sure what that means, but this is just from the maximum thing. So, uh, all jobs stored in order of priority. So, uh, something that's extremely high is at the top, and then extremely low is at the bottom. Uh, the processor finishes the instruction, checks the list of stuff to do, and then additional stuff is that the processor saves when it is interrupted and can't waste the person's time that has already been done. Uh, it stores constants of all the contents of all special registers and the values stored in a stack. Well, the values are stored in a stack so they're one on top of each other. Uh, the carry, they carry on from where they left off after the uh, interrupt has been completed. Uh, something that you should know though is that the current task could have a higher priority than the interrupt, especially if the current task is another imp interrupt. Uh, the highest priority interrupt serviced is service first to avoid any data loss or hardware damage. Uh, this is basically like, say, this is a very basic example, just be moving your mouse cursor if your computer has been, is doing something important, uh, such as rendering a video or so. Uh, so, when doing a video, that requires the GPU, CPU as well, just to do all the stuff there. And if you move mouse. Uh, sometimes, though, you might notice that if your computer is uh, going extremely slow, like extremely s amount of high CPU usage, your mouse cursor, when you go to move it, has a bit of delay, and it starts jerking all over the place like that. Uh, so that is an example of uh, just higher priorities I guess since uh, the process that's been done because uh, when I've rendered videos for myself uh, I've n when I've gone uh, Chrome since that is actually quite uh, CPU intensive and just, like really basically in general resources intensive it doesn't exactly take up it's not exactly that friendly to resources, so I, it does take a while if I want to open up a new web page. But if I have already had the web page open, and then I start a render, I can do that. When servicing an interrupt, the data from the registers is pushed to the stack. It then loads the program counter with the address of the start of the interrupt service routine, and the fetch decode execute cycle continues. The last instruction of the interrupt service routine is an interrupt return, in return instruction that brings the original data back into the register. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been helpful for you, and the next video is on scheduling.